Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout, where last time we infiltrated the cathedral, I would say quite successfully, all things considered. We managed to bluff our way upstairs, have a quick chat to Morpheus, so we've introduced ourselves to him. He does not seem like a very nice person. We briefly met the Master, and in a strange alternate universe, which we don't talk about, because we're just writing that off as a rather peculiar dream, we just were able to join the Unity, get converted into a mutant, sell out to the Vault, get them to, well, supposedly get them all to into mutants, but then in the actual cuts at the end, they were all murdered, so they couldn't be converted into mutants because they were all dead. Because mutants rely on, like, you know, living people being dipped, which we know is true even within this game because literally I was alive when I was being dipped. So I don't know, those mutants were just very, very bad at following orders, which may indeed be the fatal flaw of mutants. They're just not very bloody good at following orders. It was really important those people were all captured alive, but they weren't, they were all killed. But whatever, today we are continuing our journey back to the Brotherhood, so we're carrying crucial data for them. But on the way, there's a couple of stop-offs that are conveniently en route. So, first things first, we're returning north, just a couple of hexes over to the Boneyard, a couple of shops and whatever we can take advantage of there. Let's actually start off at the fortress. If I recall correctly, the gun runners had a big pile of money, and I've got loads of stuff to sell right now. And actually, you know what? I can also change out of my robes at this point. Lovely, much better. Yes, indeed, you've got yourself 3,700 caps plus a whole bunch of guns. I don't need the guns right now, to be perfectly honest. I think I can do without all of those. I feel pretty good about my current gun selection. But yeah, I could potentially sell you a good amount of stuff, in fact, yes. Now, we do want to keep one of the disguises, I'd say. But actually, I only need one disguise because the robes clearly only work for me. So in which case, I may as well sell you some robes because my companions totally still have robes on them. So that's fine because I don't need like more than one set of robes. Now, I want to keep that new psychic thing. That's fine. I like the Ripper. The Ripper seems cool. I like grenades. Grenades seem cool. In fact, actually, the more I look at it, the more I don't actually have that much to flipping sell, which is kind of irritating. Though, actually, I think I do just need one set of lockpicks, and I think they do weigh, like, one each. So I'm just going to, like, sell two sets of that, and it's fine. Yeah, we'll sell that. <laughs> As it turns out, I've not got much to sell at all. Fine. I'm just gonna have to grab some stuff for my companions. Yeah, you see, Tycho's carrying two sets of robes right now, and I feel like I only actually need one because, yeah, for the robes to work, it needs to be me on my own. So I may as well sell the robes just to clear out some carry capacity with Tycho. Also, it's been brought to my attention, medicine has no weight whatsoever, so I may as well, like, have all the drugs and whatever on me, just in case I ever need them. Okay, other than that, Tycho has got himself, yeah, the combat shotgun I want him to have. He's carrying a bunch of grenades for me, which is fine. He's got loads of spare ammo. He's carrying, ah, the sniper rifle, which I don't think anyone I've got is actually going to be willing to use. Because even when I tell him to change guns, he doesn't go over to that. So I don't think he can use that because, yeah, there's very strict rules in Fallout 1 as to which companion can use what sort of weapon. They will really stick to only the weapons they specifically flag they're capable of using. He's also holding on to- ah, he's just carrying around some metal armor. Right. So if I could- what I need to do is I need to clear out enough space that I can actually hold the metal armor in my inventory in order to sell it. Which I do want to do because I'm pretty sure you're actually wearing combat armor right now. So therefore I want to sell the metal armor because the metal armor is really, really bloody heavy. But I can't just... This gets very confusing very, very quickly indeed. Right, what I need to do is clear enough space for that. Also, I need to know how much it weighs, which I'm not allowed to check in the steel screen. Right. Yeah, I will say, inventory management was a real bloody faff in Fallout 1. Right, laser pistol, sorry, plasma pistol can be sold. Leather jackets times two can definitely be sold as well. Can't even flip and hold those right now. Actually, bloody conveniently, one leather jacket and the actual flipping uh, plasma pistol is worth pretty much what he's got on him anyway, so that's good. So that now gets me up to, yeah, 11,500 caps, which is lovely, and we've cleared out admittedly not that much weight from my inventory. Unfortunately, over at the warehouse, of course, the death claws have not come back because we killed the mother and broke the eggs, so those have indeed stopped respawning, beautiful. Your mother shopping at Eatum has literally no money, so I may as well just trade for stim packs, I guess. Actually, quickly, nip back to the gun runners. Just realised something that while I'm here, I should definitely pick up. Because it's going to be worthwhile very soon. Okay, laser rifle that I've been carrying around for a while. Don't really need that. The mitt is worth 5,000, so this might not work out. But I do have my amended better quality plasma which I don't see why I'd ever use the laser when I've got the plasma. So what I want to get a few is all the microfusion cells you flipping got. So there we are, microfusion cells. 
take all of them. How much is that worth? Ooh, that's worth a lot. And also, apparently, they're really bloody heavy. Right, but I'd say while I'm here, taking a handful of them, doing that trade, I'd say is going to be worthwhile. Yeah, you know what? Take one more of them off the table. That's still going to leave me... That's a fine trade in terms of money. That's fine, which I'm happy to accept. It's going to leave me over capacity, but I can hand over some of that to my companions. You know what? Screw it. It's... It's okay. Ah, you know what? Bring bring one more in. One more to the table. That's all right. Then I just need to provide an extra 259 caps to seal the deal. There we are. Even trade. So laser rifle goes away, but I get myself a ridiculous amount of microfusion cells, albeit they are extremely heavy. So do that. Marvelous. And now I'm carrying, yeah, 450 microfusion cells, some grenades, and 500 for that gun as well. So I'm now massively over capacity. That's fine. So now I need to trade those over to someone else. So isn't it just bloody convenient that you've now got about 22 weight capacity spare? Because right now I don't need any of this stuff. Okay, after much faffing around, I've now handed over all of those microfusion cells to my companions, which is fine. So now I've got a fair bit of weight free, which is lovely. So now, now we can return to the followers. So, things to do. Obviously, I need to find the spy. In the base game, this quest was broken and could not be completed, despite the fact that canonically it has to be completed because that's how this quest ends according to the Fallout Bible. However, I'm told that in Fallout Fixed, if I just basically straight up murder Heather, that's good enough because she's the only named scout here and we know it was a scout. So, let's just quickly pop out a gun and now we just basically murder Heather and we'll see if that ends well for us. So, we'll just shoot her in the face. There we go. Everyone else, just keep going for that, please. And I think she's down on the ground. Is everyone else cool with us? And the combat? Yes, everyone else is cool with us. Lovely. So Heather has been hit by a further six has been killed. We're victorious in combat. How do you feel about that? Welcome to the followers of the apocalypse. Please respect the sanctity of our library. <laughs> All knowledge is holy. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't question this person either. Right, so now we can study her body. But there's nothing going on here. We have seen a dead Heather. Now let's see if people are correct in Fallout Fixed, which I'm playing, whether that counts or not. Because down here, you, the lovely, lovely, ghoulish person, is that good enough for you to be satisfied? Excellent job on removing from midst that... Ah, okay. Fine. That's good. Uh, but as far as I can tell, that doesn't actually seem to be... Yeah, that doesn't seem to be giving me a big pile of XP, but the game is at least acknowledging that I have indeed got rid of Heather, and that was the right person to get rid of. And no one's turned on me, so that's not how you use stairs, but whatever, it's fine. Right, let's get back to Nicole here, because yeah, maybe she's got more to say. The comments were indicating she might. So, hello there, Nicole. It's nice to be back. Ask, and I'll answer if I can. So, what do we have here? Tell me a little history behind the followers. What does she know about the children of the cathedral? No, nothing. Okay. Can you tell me anything about the master? I'm going to give this a go again. I've heard very little about him. Okay, lovely. That ask me about function just doesn't seem to do anything, does it? Ah, I think this might be new, or maybe I just missed it last time. Can you help me destroy them? No, but I know someone who will. Go to the cathedral and find a woman named Laura. Say the phrase, Red Rider. We'll create a diversion if we can. Okay. Go to the cathedral. Laura. Does that ring a bell? Have I seen anyone called Laura? I cannot recall, but okay. We've potentially got someone we can now say a secret message to. All right. Our destiny lies before us. Let us hope we are worthy. Let us hope that indeed. And as the cathedral is so close by, I see no problem with just nipping back there quickly now. So, back down to the cathedral we go. Should be nice and quick through the city. Lovely. Yep, children's cathedral. Now, start outside because we want to put our disguise back on. Of Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, right. Like, um, I didn't actually... Yeah. Are you guys... You guys are the follower scouts. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but I didn't actually... This is a pretty important job, huh? Yes, possibly. We're not here to talk. Um, okay, I thought we were meeting a spy. You mentioned a diversion, not an invasion. Right, okay. This is intriguing. Okay, none of these people are like the leader. None of them are actually going to... I will follow you on to death. Oh, are we just flipping invading at this point? Are we? 
because that wasn't what I was thinking. I thought we were just going to, like, you know, do sneaky chats to someone called Laura. But all right, then. Okay, guys, seriously, let's start off with... Are you actually following me? Is that what you're doing? You're all following me, aren't you? Right. But are you following me in the sense that, just like my existing companions, you're going to be basically invisible? Because if so, we're not causing trouble yet. All right? Let's go inside. You're all coming in, too. Right, okay, this is... That was Laura. I thought it might be you. Fine, okay. Right, let's have a chat to you, because, yeah, you didn't have anything interesting to say last time. Laura? Well, hello again. Are you just walking, or may I help? Are you by any chance Laura? I most certainly am. Did you want something? Okay, we were supposed to... Oh, hang on. Is this actually a really, really damn cool use for Red Rider? The ask me about function? That was the secret password! <laughs> All right, fine. Maybe that's not quite as cool as I was expecting. Look, Nicole sent me. Nicole? I'm so sorry. I don't believe I know anyone by that name. I literally already said Red Rider to you. Screw you, game. You should have anticipated if I typed Red Rider to tell me about it should have triggered the dialogue early, but whatever. I'm sorry. I, I just don't know. Follow me to a place where we can talk. Okay. As you can see, I've extremely subtly come from Nicole because she's sent bloody four warriors with me to assist. Right, so Laura's now coming over here to a quiet little side room. Lovely. Follow her in there where it's peaceful and quiet. Good. Now me. Now me and Ian and Tycho and the four Brotherhood scouts, all six of them wandering around armed, we can now handle this together. Lovely. So, what can I do for you now? Okay, need to ask you a few more questions. What's bloody going on here? More than I already know, at least. <sighs> Make it quick. Okay, is there a secret entrance into the inner sanctum? Oh, I know about that already. It's fine. Yeah, what have you learnt about the master? Uh, not much. The children worship him, and sometimes a huge vision of him appears in the main nave of the church. Nice. So, definitely 100% real. We already know that, but let's get her take on it. Yes and no. I snuck up to the front one day, and I found a strange mechanical device with a lens under the altar. Okay, hollow projector, fine. So, I'm pretty sure this master is flesh and blood. And I also think I know where he is. Already know all this, but fine, let's just get her take on it, because she might well have in her dialogue new incidental details I didn't stumble across. Every once in a while, Morpheus will go through a secret staircase leading below the church, and he enters a secret door with some kind of a key. I think the master's down there. And luckily, I already know how the secret door works. Well, I'd say he keeps it on him. Will you show me the door now? No, that's fine. We don't need to know that. It's fine. Well, of course. But no, first ask more questions because I know where the key is. And actually, no, I don't know where the key is. Or rather, I don't think I need to have the key because I've got lockpicking ability, so it's fine. So let's go for some other questions <sighs> first up. So, children's plans. The children are setting up hospitals all over the place. I think they're trying to get people to trust them. Okay, and is it working? Oh, it sure looks that way. I mean, ugh, people are flocking to their church. Can't they see it's a fake? And are you 100% sure? Actually, no, never mind. We kind of know that they are giant flesh monstrosities that are eating people down below. So let's not take their side. How do we stop them? Find the master and stop him. Okay, I 100% will. That's fine. I sure as hell hope so. Now, any more questions? So, any chance of a secret entrance to the Inner Sanctum or whatever? It's not the Inner Sanctum you want to enter. Okay, then. I've followed Morpheus down a back secret staircase. The guy activates a secret door at the bottom. Oh, never mind. We've already got that bit. Fine. Okay, whatever. So, what we've got right now, then, if we did decide we wanted to, you know, kick this off in a more violent fashion, is we've now got backup from the followers, presumably, to begin a fight. So I could, theoretically, just... Well, actually, how much do we have to fight by? In order to, well, actually, these are people with... Hmm. You do appear to be armed with sledgehammers, but with metal armor, it's relatively tough. But... Phew. I feel like these guys would get themselves slaughtered pretty bloody quickly. I'm going to be honest. So, uh, when we do take down the master, I feel like we don't want to do it with these guys' assistance. Like, presumably, if I say leave and then come back, they'll just be waiting at the front door. So that's fine. We've learned a bit of information there, but nothing we didn't already really know, aside from, yeah, if you didn't know about the secret entrance, she could show you that and how to operate it, but I figured it out for myself already, so that's fine. So in which case, 
probably... I don't want to... St Actually, you know what? Let's just, for the sake of argument, just for fun, I probably won't let this stand, because I'd rather do this in the super awesome badass way, where we, like, sneak into the secret bomb place, and then we, like, you know, we turn on the bomb and whatever. So I'd say what we want to do instead is... I'm just going to drop a save now, and we're going to see how well this team does do, in theory, against the entire church. Because I suspect, given these guys have got, like, spears and whatever, and the Nightkin have flipping Gatling lasers and whatever, yeah, they're going to be torn the hell apart. But I'd like to see how they do. So in which case, me round to the back, and I would guess the moment I slip on my armour, possibly it's go time. In which case, let's get some grenades, given there's loads of people here. So grenades will probably be useful. Yes, indeed, straight away, we're now into combat. The moment I put the armour on, I'm not in disguise, some people start coming at me. So let's go over here. I'm just going to take some steps back here, end my turn. Now, who's actually coming? Ah, yes, it's that Viola person. And Viola was hit for, ooh, 90 hit points and killed. Right, so you've got a big sledgehammer. Okay, guys, uh, just start heading forwards. I'm not sure how many of these people have guns yet, but the moment we run into the Nightkin, then it's going to go wrong, isn't it? Right, so yeah, we've got the followers are advancing, and they're just straight up murdering people who appear to be unarmed. So that's, you know, good, isn't it? And then presumably my companions will get involved too. Yeah, the guys in the purple robes, the shop, etc., you'll probably have... Uh, the better weapons and whatnot. More people with robes just wandering in. But yeah, the people in robes are pretty much one shot, so that's fine. You have... Oh, if you have a sledgehammer, I wouldn't walk into a big open room. She'll just be shot from every side. Unless, of course, everyone here's only got melee weapons. But we do know there are nightkin somewhere. And nightkin are utterly, utterly brutal even with combat armor. Because I've tested that myself. So this is going to be marvellous. Right, let's just head forward here. Youth today, no discipline, no manners. I will instruct you. Fine. Looks like they've actually not got guns, which is good. So these guys will be able to clear out the front passage pretty easily. That guy comes in, he's got a spear as well. Yeah, basic spears and people in robes with limited damage resistance won't do well against the sledgehammer. So, sledgehammer man, it's his first go. No, he's going for the purple lad. He's getting himself further and further ahead. The Nightkins arrived. <laughs> this is where this all goes to hell. Right, you know what? Take one shot at you. That should one-shot them. Yeah, the basic guys can be one-shot pretty easily. A chanter has been killed. Uh, now just keep moving forward a couple of steps. He has no interest in the guy with the sledgehammer. No one seems to, in fact. Fine. But yeah, I imagine the Nightkin's going to fire at him next. <laughs> He's going to be slaughtered. Yeah, it's the Nightkin that's the problem. The Nightkin... These guys can clear the front gate, but they'll be destroyed by the super mutants down below. He's still not attacking. I think he now wants to go for the... You're going to be murdered, aren't you? Uh, he was hit for 20 points. Actually, being hit with a minigun and taking 20 damage, you must have some decent flipping damage resistance on you. Marvellous. Uh, right, which is good. I guess you do have that metal armour. Right, I can get myself one shot on you. Okay, that does 19 hit points damage and reduces him to severely wounded. Well, that's good. In which case, I'm just going to do a reload and then take one more step forward. Uh, two, actually, sorry. You don't have a gun, which means it's very unlikely you'll be able to actually get a hit in. You're going for that guy. That guy, however, just wants to start hitting a Nightkin with a bloody sledgehammer. There's an awful lot of people here. Right, so he's going to go for that guy up there in a second. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Everyone's... Yeah, that's the problem with big brawls in this game. They're quite slow because everyone has to move one at a time and they just won't bloody hurry it up. Right, one of those guys coming in as well. If we're lucky, the Nightkin might miss. No, he's really just got eyes for the Nightkin, doesn't he? And then he got shot in half. Lovely. And that was... Wait. Dr. Wu? Who's Dr. Wu? Were you Dr. Wu? I thought you were just a random follower scout, but maybe you were Dr. Wu. Right, Lash has been shot again. Let's go for a nice VAT shot against La... No. Nice. There we are. Nice VAT shot against Lasher. Lovely. Into the eyes. Why not? There we... Ooh, blimey. You've actually managed to survive that. Bloody hell. Well done. Right, so end my turn there. Let some other people get forward. Because yeah, his mistake was getting too far forward. He hit me with something, but only did 11 points. 11 points isn't that bad. Fine, so then I'm going to start all moving in my direction. But we've got more scouts back here. Except Ian decided he wants to stand to the back, as have a couple of the people on our side. So that's just marvellously good news. Luckily, we do have one of the metal guys right here, which is nice. Now, looks like, yeah, one of the followers has finally taken those guys down. One of the scouts has only got a knife. And isn't very good with it. So this is all going beautifully well. Uh, right, just take a single shot at this person over here. And that's enough to get you down. Lovely. Now just end my turn right there. 
they're just going to keep advancing. If we could just stay back here and kind of bottleneck them around this sort of a way, that'd be good. Then if a bunch of them could cluster, I could just get a good grenade in. Yeah, if they all want to cluster around that metal guy, I will just toss a grenade in over there. And that'll be hilarious. Yeah, this looks good. This looks... Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah, the Nightkin has definitely just flipping murdered a bunch of people he wasn't supposed to murder there, which is good. Works for flipping me. Uh, now, if I can just get myself, I think I do actually have a grenade on my secondary. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Grenade at the back there. 57%. And it's kind of killed everyone, actually. <laughs> okay, um, how many other people did I just kill? I just killed, I think I just killed a few people on our side there. That's, uh, that's a shame. Probably should back off now, because otherwise I'm probably the next logical target for that Nightkin. Right, guys, we need to start being like, you know... <laughs> this hasn't gone well in many ways. Are you actually going to fight? No, you need to get closer first, because right now your accuracy would be too poor. Chanter 17 actually manages to bloody survive. Well, bloody done. Right, take one shot myself just to finish you off. That should be you dead. And then I'm going to back off around this corner as far as I can. One, two, three, four... Nightkin is now coming up on us, but if the... Okay, getting one light tap in. Nightkin Sentry was hit for only nine there. My turn again. I'm guessing you're just... Yeah, you're just wounded. This person's refusing to get involved. Ian's just standing around enjoying the architecture. So this is all going beautifully well so far. Okay, bare minimum, I could at least get a... Yeah, let's get a groin shot, 66% chance if we can. So that is some extra... Nope, just missed. Well done. Right, I'm going to back over here. But I imagine the Night King might be about to murder Tycho. No, he's actually exposing himself by going forward, which is good. Right, what I can probably do is... You know what, screw it. I'm just going to reload. I need to reload right now, which is fine. Then I'm just going to end my turn right there to see if he comes. Yeah, if he's going to come forward once more, that works for me. Because he definitely wants to come for me. Not good enough. Further seven. Right, can I hit him from where he is? I think I need to take, like, one, two... Then I could take a... No, no, I can't. Another one. Right, now. How about now? 95% chance. Right in the eyes. Nice. Good. That eye shot, that does the job. Good. Now Ian's realised something's going on. <laughs> Ian's just at the back being like, Oh yeah, there seems to be a fight here. Intriguing. Right. Time to charge forward. Everyone's now moving forward. So yeah, we've pretty much cleared out the front. But all our help is... Dead or close to it. Let's just get over to here. End of my turn. Actually, you know what? I'll do a quick reload. That's fine. Let Tycho lead the charge. It's going to hurt you a lot and me not at all. You say this, but you haven't actually been involved yet so far, Ian. So whatever. Yeah, two more people to take out in this front room, which is fine. So I can then head round to... One, two, three. And then just a single shot to you. Nice, goes down, end my turn right there, that's okay. And then Ian takes one shot, but then misses with another. This is Sister Francis. But at this point, yeah, pretty much everyone other than one person with a spear is dead. So this is a nice... That is way more than I was expecting to have to spend on that. That's a shame, but luckily she's now... She's retreating into the shop. Everyone just follow her. Lash is already dead, right? Yeah, Lash is already very, very dead, fine. In all fairness, it feels like most of them are dead just clearing out the front room. Never mind the tower. Never mind, never mind the bunker. So, yeah, they're more of kind of like, you know, a bit of a helping hand rather than anything you can actually rely upon. So, Sister Francis has just been killed by Ian there. That's this area cleared out, I believe. Yes, indeed. Combat comes to an end. We get a big pile of experience for that. And there's a giant pile of corpses. And, yeah, now we've literally got one friend left. It's just a follower scout. So... Basically, these guys are completely useless. I'll just check whether there's anything good in any of these people, but there's... Hello? It's a cock badge. Okay, fine. That's... That's not what I was expecting. I'm guessing that's the badge that lets you access all of the doors, the electronic doors, even if you don't have uh, lockpicking. So, could be useful, but I'm a lockpicking expert, so it's not really required, is it? No. No, I think it's fine. And Get out of the way, please. No, get out of the way. Get out. And that's how this alternate universe ends. With the Oh, good, she moved out of the way. <laughs> Someone blocking the door who I couldn't actually get out of the way. What did you guys even have on you, by the way? Let's just check the the scouts here. No, that wasn't one of them. I only want to check one of mine. Uh, you had you had a knife and a flower. Well bloody done. Yeah, and the weapon they were using was the cattle prod. Fine, I've seen one of those before. I just never used it myself. Lovely. 
So yeah, as that probably gives the game away and stops you doing it in a badass cool fashion, we're not going to let that stand, but it was fun to see it play out anyway. So yeah, step outside and those guys now just hang out here. And I'm guessing if I leave and then come back, they will still be there, right? So if I just go to here and then I say I want to go back to the cathedral again and then the entranceway, yeah, they're still there, fine. So if I do decide to do an all-out assault on the cathedral, those guys will be able to help me, but I need to be careful because especially if I use a grenade to kill the guys who have got like sledgehammer, that's very, very bad indeed. But honestly... They're not that much help. They're relatively tough, but they don't hit that hard. Especially against the Nightkin, they're screwed. Right, back up to the Boneyard quickly. Let's just head over to... Uh, I think I want downtown. Yes, downtown. Lovely. Nicole told us to return as soon as you left the cathedral. Okay, who's who's that member of the Blades? Nice to have you on our side. Who just said that? Oh, right, yes, yeah, sorry. It will be probably one of my own companions. They do tell you what to do next in case you've forgotten. And I'm not standing outside the bloody followers right now. I'm standing outside of the blade. Right, let's go speak to Nicole nice and quickly. And also, let's take off this ridiculous robe. There we are, much better. Actually, despite what just showed up on screen there, I don't see anything new. The same option is there as before. Can you help me destroy them? No, but I know someone who will. Go to the cathedral and find a woman named Laura. Yep, already found her, already spoken to her. Doesn't look like there's any new dialogue options there, in fact. Nicole told us to return as soon as you left the cathedral. Oh, wait, hang on. That's not one of my companions speaking. That might have been one of... Ah, that must be one of the scouts. Fine. So the scouts just confirmed me they don't hang out there forever. So, potentially, if I was to... If I go back there now, are the scouts reappearing? Or is that just a one-time only sort of thing? Yes, indeed, that was actually a one-time only thing. I just quickly travelled back here to check if they're still there. And indeed, that was just a once-only thing. But that's okay. To be honest, I didn't really want their help anyway. They didn't seem that bloody useful. I'd rather do it in a badass fashion where if I can talk the master around or blow up the entire cathedral without ever meeting the master in the first place, that'd be kind of badass, yes. But let's not worry about that. Instead, let's make our way back to the Brotherhood like I've been saying we'll be doing for a while. But while we're going in that direction, let's just swing by the hub. I've still got a bunch of stuff to bloody sell, so swinging by the hub, doing a bunch of buying and selling would be very, very welcome indeed, as it's a pretty fast trip. Sure, back to the hub we go. Plenty of shops with good money in downtown. Okay, the inventory management shuffle continues. Hand the rope back to Tycho. Now I've got 23 capacity spare. What have you got on you that needs selling, if anything? Actually, I think you're okay for selling for the time being. You're just holding on to useful stuff. Actually, if I can, take the metal armor. No, the metal armor is really bloody heavy. I would need to... That's kind of stuck in your inventory forever now. <laughs> just because I can't clear enough space out of my inventory to you... Without, never mind, it's fine. Okay, if I was to create enough space by taking more stuff off, off Ian and creating a joint pool of space, then maybe, just maybe, we can make this work, damn it. Yeah, because Ian's got another laser rifle. Again, I don't think we... Look, I know I can have that. I know I can have that. There we go, because that only weighs 17. Ian's also carrying bloody 16 flares. I think we can do without most of those. Right, are they, what, are they 10 each or 1 each? Yeah, they're 1 each. Okay, we can sell a whole bunch of those to make some space. We don't need 16 flares. You know, I'm just going to leave you with 3 as an emergency. That's fine. Probably people in the comments are screaming at me because flares are like the best item in the game and I just haven't been using them, but it's fine. Right, let's do some selling with you. And thankfully, she does indeed have money. Not that much money, mind, but enough I can sell at least some of this stuff. Yeah, thankfully, all those flares are only worth about $500. Marvellous. But actually, for some reason, this laser rifle seems to be... Oh, no, that's a sniper rifle, not a laser rifle. Sorry, they look very, very similar. Um, am I ever going to want a sniper rifle? Am I ever going to actually want a sniper rifle? I don't think I will, because I've got the plasma rifle, and I don't think Ian or Tycho use... You know what? It's fine. I'm just going to sell that. It's A-OK. -okay. Now, if you want to toss in an extra 100 bullets for that gun, that will be marvellous as well. I'm willing to offer that. Job flipping done. That's a good trade. Okay, Ian now actually has a bunch of spare capacity in his inventory, meaning potentially I might finally be able to get the metal armour out of his inventory <laughs> as the inventory shuffle continues. Right, if I give him all the grenades and the ripper, then potentially is this... No, it weighs more than that. Okay, and give him enough ammo to get him up to 40. Yep, so now I've got 40 space free. Please let it weigh 40. Oh, it weighs slightly less than that. It weighs like 35. Okay, I can finally, finally sell the bloody metal armor. Good. Wait, hang on. You need... Wait, are you still wearing metal armor? 
are you? Actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because at the Brotherhood, I'm going to get new armor. He can inherit my old armor. It's fine. Let's just get that metal armor out of the way. Right, over to the general store. Hopefully, they've got more money. Yep, they've got a healthy amount of money. Right, sell the metal armor. Oh, spot on. Spot flipping on. You've got just the right amount of money for that. Right, get rid of that. Beautiful. Metal armor, now gone out of my infantry forever. Beautiful. Oh, wait, no. Ian's still got metal armor on because he's... How have you still got metal armor on? How does that... Wait a second. Tycho's wearing combat armor. Fine. And that means I... I can't see it because he's wearing it. Ah. Okay. Because, yeah, something you're wearing or equipped with, I think, doesn't necessarily show up in your... Thing. Okay, fine. Well, I can have metal armor off you because I know you're wearing combat armor. And I think Ian's got another set of combat armor on him. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. It's all fine. Everything's under control. Right. Over to the shops on the other side of town. We've got to find more people with more money. I feel like in some way I must be like just breaking the economy at this point. <laughs> at this point, I'm just basically causing a mass economic crash because I'm hoarding pretty much all the wealth in the world, which is very, very bad for a currency system, but I'm sure it's fine. Yes, indeed, this guy has a good amount of money over here as well. Lovely. So, 999, done. And then toss in another 101, and we will be good. I will do that trade for you. Oh, and he's even got spare money. I'm finally under control. <laughs> Bloody finally. And I think I was right to top up on microfusion cells and basically clear out the gun runners. Because he's not got any at all, even though he's like one of the most elite gun and ammo salesmen outside of the gun run. So that was definitely the right thing to do, I'd say. Right, after all this madness, do either of you guys have stuff we need to get rid of just to clear up some space? Because I've now got 41 spare space, which feels really nice, by the way. You can... You can hang on to spare ammo for me. That's fine. I should probably... You know what? Don't bother with the Ripper situation for now. You can keep the Ripper because you sometimes like going over to knives. So actually, you keep that. I don't think the Ripper thing's really been working for me. I will take a bunch of grenades. It's nice to have some grenades on me. I like grenades. I don't need all the flipping ammo for that gun. That's enough. You hold on to some spare for me. I'll take the drugs because they don't weigh anything, so I may as flipping well because I don't think you actually use them. And he's still got plenty of 10mm ammo for his 10mm automatic that he does seem to enjoy, so that's fine. As for Tycho, he's holding on to... Actually, he's holding on to my Geiger counter for now, which is... You know what? I'll keep that. I may as well flip and keep that just in case I need it for anything. He can hold on to the robes. I don't need... Yeah, I don't need energy cells at all for the time. Actually, you know what? I should give those to... Yeah, I should give all the energy cells now to Ian. Because he's the only one who's actually got anything that uses them. Fine. I'll take a handful of extra grenades off him. Just in case. Just a bunch of plasma grenades. And just two more normal grenades. No need for more than that. That's fine. If I actually give you a couple of plasma back, there's no need for me to be holding that many plasma grains. I'm never going to use that many in one go. But I'd say it's time to start thinking about this. It's time to start thinking about the plasma rifle. The turbo plasma rifle, in fact. Because this thing... Oh, people have been seeing this thing's praise in the comments. And apparently, it's even better than I noticed when I was seeing it before. Right, you know what? You can have the Geiger counter. Help yourself to some Geiger counters. It's fine. Because instead of the Geiger counter, I'm going to need myself a little bit of ammo for this. Because this ammo, oh, weighs like, blimey. It weighs a pound for every ten. But I do need some. Yes, you know what, okay. I'll carry a hundred shots for that. I'll carry... Okay, you can have a little bit more of this. Fine, to compensate you. So you can have a little bit more of this. You can have... Okay, I'll give you a few grenades back. I just need to, just need to optimise this. It's fine. Okay, I'm only going to carry around 50 shots for the Turbo Plasma Rifle. I'm never going to use 50 within a single brawl. So that'll be absolutely 100% fine. That's, that's absolutely fine. Whenever I need to, just remember my companions are carrying loads of it. Between rounds of combat, just ask them for more ammo. I've got plenty of grenades. I've got plenty of ammo for that gun as well. Yeah, that's actually... Oh. Good, okay. I'm going to hand over... Two lots of that to get that down to 200. I'm going to take one lot of this in return. So now I've got, yeah, 200 shots for that gun, 100 shots for plasma rifle. That's fine. And I'm about to give myself a strength boost anyway, because the Brotherhood can help me out with that situation. But I'm actually more or less out of stuff to sell, I think, which is very, very bloody welcome indeed. Because the thing that I missed about this marvellous girl, I didn't notice previously its ridiculously large amount of power, 
which is very, very nice indeed. I know minimum strength 6, don't worry, we're going to sort that momentarily, has 10 out of 10 shots of microfusion cells, weighs 19 pounds. Okay, all very, very powerful indeed. But here's the bit I missed. Go over to that. Action point 4. Action point 4. Four. This is a ridiculously powerful rifle I can fire twice in a single round. That is not like, up to this point, in order to do, actually do anything twice, I've needed to like go unarmed or melee or whatever. Action point four. I thought it was five when I picked it up, it goes down to four after you get it amended. Oh, that's so good. And I missed just how good that was. That's amazing. Let's not worry about that for now. We've got plenty of ammo for this, but we have got ourselves, oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. Stick with the pistol for now. Because right now we're quite a bit low on the old strength requirement. But I would say we can sort that out very, very soon indeed. And we finally got the bloody inventory under control as well. So at this point, honestly, there's not much point us swinging back around Junk Town. Don't see what they're going to sell that we're actually going to need. We may as well head straight back to the Brotherhood. And that will actually probably open up a few new bits and pieces we haven't actually seen before. So that's fine. Back over to the brother we go. Bit slow over the mountains. We might run into something. You know what? I dare you to attack me. I've got the bloody plasma rifle now. No, thought you didn't bloody want to. Brotherhood of Steel, of course. All we've got is the entrance here. And good news, guys. I have brought you a thing. Hello there. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? I absolutely did. Great. But um, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. That's fair enough. Here you go. This is great. Hang on while I open the door. Okay, that was easy and I expected. I was kind of half expecting that, like, you know, they weren't expecting me to return. But he does seem to be perfectly... Unless, of course, that is the situation. He's just too dumb to realise it. So I've earned 2,000 experience for becoming an initiate of the Brotherhood of Steel. Nice. Job flipping done, apparently. Well, hello. What can I help you with? Okay, now he's just being lovely and polite. In which case, actually, you. You gave me more information. You're a bit more honest and paying attention than Cabot last time I spoke to you. No, now he's just saying hi, but he's saying it in red, meaning I probably ought to walk away. Down we go. Down to the first level. Oh, yes. We have infiltrated the Brotherhood. Some members of the Brotherhood might be offended if a stranger, I mean a new initiate, approaches them with a weapon. Okay, we'll sort that out. That's No, I didn't mean to get out a bigger weapon. That That's not what I meant. That That's fine. We're just going to put away this. That's okay. Now we're just going to put away that. There we go. Nice and unarmed. And here we are. Oh, it's like a vault. But it's nice. It's nice and it's swish and it's lovely. And we've got ourselves, yep, combat training. And we've got ourselves, actually, are there more levels to this? Or is it just that? I think it might just be. Nope, there's definitely another level to this. Oh, this is cool. Who have we got here? We've got Brotherhood Guard. This might well be there. Oh, no, that's their bunks. Fine. So there's a couple of guards around here. This is just some living quarters. What else have we got up here? We've got a senior scribe. Okay, good. We said scribes at this point in the Brotherhood of History. That's nice. Boxes full of stuff. Senior paladins. Who's important around here? Who's named? You see... No. You see box. A box is a box. It's not a person called box, probably, anyway. Well, we've got Michael over there, which is very, very good indeed. Fine. We've got one named person there. And we've got... Ah! Talus. Talus, 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 we were told to come and visit you because I saved a Brotherhood initiate in the hub. I admittedly accidentally murdered a child at the same time, but still did save an initiate. He said, come and speak to Talus. Okay, so you probably want to reward us Brotherhood guards guarding what I'm guessing might be, say, maybe the Elder's Quarters as they're guarding, like, one bedroom that's got its own, like, dedicated bathroom, so that's pretty damn cool. Then we've got Rhombus over here. Lovely. That's, you know, Rhombus, my favourite shape as well. It's a great shape. Yeah, we have got ourselves a whole bunch of good stuff here. This seems very, very good indeed. One monitor, anything on there? No, you see a computer monitor. It's made from Brotherhood technology. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Let's just go and say hello to Michael while we're actually here. While we're kind of, you know, we don't speak to everyone right now. But let's say hello to Michael, just the first named character. Hello, brother. How can I help you? So, excuse me, but what exactly do you do for our brother? Ooh, blimey. Only joined five minutes ago. I'm already calling it our brotherhood and questioning whether people are getting on with their jobs. Nothing quite as glamorous as our paladins. I just run the supply room, checking equipment and other supplies out to people. You know what? That's fair enough. That's an important job. That's a good job, damn it. I was sent here by Bob. He wanted me to get him that new high-tech weapon thingy. 
lovely. If I want to check something out, how to do that exactly? You need to have the proper authorization. Only specific people can give authorization to check out items from the supply room. Okay, who would I need to do about that then? Well, there are quite a few people actually. Talis is the person you should probably talk to. You might also want to check in with Mafia. She might be able to help you too. Okay, I know where Talis is. Where's Mafia? Mafia is Maxon's assist. Ooh, Maxon! Wait, no, Maxon. That's... That's very close to Maxon. Is... Are they related? It feels like it, given... Yeah, we know the Maxon family name has passed through the Brotherhood for a long time, but this isn't Maxon, that's Maxon. Okay, interesting. Possibly something got a bit lost in translation at some point. Yeah, it was... It was Maxon with a... With an S. At... In Fallout 3, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. I'm pretty sure it was, anyway. Right, so Mafia is... Sorry, Mafia, even, is Max's assistant. She's technically the High Elder's assistant, but she works with the other Elders. She is normally in the Elders' rooms. That's located on the fourth floor. Oh, blimey. Okay, this place is apparently quite bloody big, and Talis is luckily right next door. Well, that's just bloody convenient, too. So it would appear this place is going to be pretty bloody big. There's a good four floors, and just the first floor is pretty major. So I would say, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go explore the Brotherhood Bunker, and ooh -hoo. Okay, yes, I think I want to go and get myself some power armor because power armor gives you plus to strength and plus to strength could very, very nicely indeed get me the ability to use my guns more accurately. You see, I'm already pretty good with my guns, but still, I think it would be very, very nice if I just, you know, do some little quests, get some XP, get it to the next level, whack up those energy weapons, get my strength up to six total. All of a sudden, I can start using my amazing, amazing turbo plasma rifle. Once I'm, you know, strolling around in power armor with a turbo plasma rifle, I can fire twice in one turn. Then I think I'll be feeling pretty damn good about the world. Then I'll feel better about marching through the front door of the bastard cathedral and just basically mowing the bastards down. So we'll see about that, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see about that very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout. Thank you very much, and goodbye. We've all learnt a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea.